How's it going guys? It's me Simon and in this video I'm going to show you how to change your Nintendo Switch Pro Controller shell from the original to a new one. What you're going to need is this small screwdriver and a pry tool. I'll put the link in the descriptions to where you can get these. First thing we need to do is to take off these grip pads of the Switch controller. They're held together with two screws one here and one here, so that's the first part. Get it in, match it up, and start unscrewing. There you go, so put your screws somewhere safe and that will slide off so there goes the first grip and you do the same on the other side match it up and start unscrewing you feel the grip pad start loosening and then it just slides off what I'm doing is putting the screws with the grip pad over there so I know which part it goes with. Next we're going to turn the controller around and now there's four screws that we need to take out. One here, one here, here and here. So there's four, two here and two here. So once you've taken out those four screws, the back should just pop off, but if not, you can use a pry tool to help you out. Next we want to take out the battery, so that's out the way, the battery, and now we've got five more screws. So we've got one at the bottom here, two deeply engraved into these holes at the side, and there's two hidden ones up here through here and here so we're going to take out the bottom one first because it's the easiest one see that one was nice and easy to get out with these other ones you're going to have to feel it push in the screwdriver feel it into place it could take a little bit and then once you've got it hooked start unscrewing I've lost the place, so wait. There we go. Don't let your screws bounce around though, because you don't want to lose them. So put them aside. And this side, feel it into place and unscrew. And more careful this time, I caught this one. So now for the two at the top here, same process. Try and feel it, the position of the screw, get into place, and start unscrewing. Yep, I can feel that one's out. It helps if you have a magnetic screwdriver. So that's what another screw out. And then the same on this side. Match it up. Get it into place. Start unscrewing. And here's the screw. So that's five. That was five screws for that bit. One here at the bottom. One here another one there and two at the top here and now you may use your pry tool if you if you feel like it's a bit tight which oh which mine is kind of is so just I've pulled out some of it but with the pry tool go around the side here give it a little push don't do it too hard though because you don't want to damage anything 
that slight I pushed it in and then slid it to loosen it and that piece should come out now but be careful because there is a ribbon cable attached to it still so don't tug that so we don't want to pull that too full with the pry tool over here we want to flip the black switch up do you see that? let's do that again okay so you can see that it's attached to a ribbon cable we want to take from the front piece we want to flip the black switch up on here to release the ribbon cable so just tug that out slightly and here's a thumbstick go put that back on the controller in a minute so that's the middle piece of the controller which we're going to keep just going to put the thumbstick back on so I don't lose it there we go so we've got the middle piece and we took the ribbon cable from here so I just disconnected the ribbon cable from here after releasing the switch the black switch from here and now we've got a few more screws to hold which holds this piece to the front of the controller together which holds the buttons we're going to take that off with these screws, one here, here, and here. So that's three of them connected to the board. And there's also a ribbon cable here, which we should undo first. So there's a little black switch on here as well. So flip that up. Be gentle, don't do it too hard. And then pull out the ribbon cable. So now that's been released, we can start unscrewing the boards. Let's start with these two so we can take out the pieces. So these are in quite tightly compared to the other screws. So be gentle and take your time. That's my best advice is to take your time because you don't want to damage any of the controller. There's actually four screws, two there and two on the board. So now that takes off the buttons, the trigger buttons, the two screws I took out from here and here. You can see them on the board and that just slides out nicely. After that, so I'm putting them with the two screws over there. And now we're going to undo the board, but be careful the buttons are going to fall out after this part. So. These screws are in really tight for this part. Just gonna put that aside. And then there's one more screw here. One more screw down here. Okay, and now we can take out the board nice and gently, put that aside, and now we've got the buttons. We're going to take these buttons and put them into our new shell. So we're going to do that slowly. 
let me just move the camera a bit so here we go let's take this is the cover for the buttons the buttons are all marked with their specific edges and designs so I'm just going to match it up So slowly take the buttons and put it into the new shell. So once we've switched the buttons from our old Pro Controller to our new controller, it's time to put back in the circuit board. So just put that into place and it should match up with the yellow poles of your controller or whatever colour you have check that the buttons are right before you screw that back in so there's two screws we need to put back in one here in the corner and one here on that side so let's pick our screw put that in and as I remember this was quite tight when it was in so we're going to want it quite tight as well but not too tight that it damages the board so hold down the buttons as well because they might bounce and let's do the other one on the other side Okay. Yep, these ones are quite stiff to get in. And if we've done it, this one needs a bit more tightening. And if we've done it correctly, we can check our buttons. And they should feel nice. Feels good at the moment. These top buttons, we're going to need to put in the L and R pad bits to check out properly because it needs to be more secure. D-pad feels good too. Okay, so that seems good at the moment. Once we've done the motherboard, we get to go and take our trigger buttons and put that match it up with the holes push it into place so that feels good it clicked now we want to put the ribbon cable back in so slightly jig it from left to right to try and push it in make sure that the, the lock is off for the ribbon cable before you do that. Mine was already off when I was pushing it in. Just to make sure. So that looks like it's in and then we lock it. Push it down to lock. So that's cool. And now we've got three screws we need to put in. There was one here, here, and there was a third one. Or was there just two? Yeah, there was just this one and this one. So, put that one there. Screw this one in first. And this one up here. Just check them a bit. Okay, 
and now we look at our buttons again. These ones still feel a bit loose, so I'm just gonna push it a little bit to check. Ah, that's better. Okay, so just push it in a little bit more. Make sure it's clicked. Ah, did you hear that? It just clicked in place properly. And now these buttons are all, all the buttons are good. Now we're going to put back on the thumbstick and this is the main board with the ribbon cable and if you look under the right from stick there's an easter egg it says thanks to all game fans that's a special message from Nintendo which is pretty awesome okay what we need to do now is unlock the ribbon cable bit here the big one Nearly use the screwdriver, you just use the pry tool, flip it down and that unlocks it. Be gentle because these are quite delicate. And now we're gonna put the ribbon cable back in. So it should slide back in. Once it's back in, lock it. So now the ribbon cable is locked back into place. You wanna connect the controller back. Just do it slowly so you get it right. Once you've matched it up and pushed it together and it's clicked into place, we can now screw it in the five screws cool so it just screwed in five screws one here 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 and the two up here and now we can put the battery back we're almost done almost done guys put the battery back in oops okay make sure you get the battery in the right place and then put it back in there we go. <laughs> the battery's back in. And it instead of putting the original shell, we're gonna put that aside. We've got our new Pikachu yellow shell, which we're gonna put in on top. Oh it's got two so it's got two clips at the top here. It's got two clips at the top, which we need to clip into here. So. nice I like that sound sounds good and as you can see the four screws here they're the silver screws from the controller so only one bit left to go back on the grips and this controller is looking good if I don't break it pick up sliding the grips on oh don't knock over the camera. Here we go. That is nice. Check it out. Pikachu yellow switch controller looking awesome. Just screw in the last two. There you go. That is how to change a shell of your Nintendo Switch Pro controller. All the buttons are working. We can tell that the light is on. These buttons feel good. Triggers feel good. A nice Pikachu yellow. And the back is on nicely as well. Awesome. So guys, that is how you change your Nintendo Switch Pro Controller shell. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, leave me a like and consider becoming a subscriber for more content like this. Thank you for watching and peace out.
shining through. All I see is you.